You hear voices and you think they're real, but they're just not. I didn't always have schizophrenia. He is mentally ill and a New York City prisoner. I remember a time when I was fine and I didn't hear voices. I had a lot of friends growing up. As my mental illness started attacking me, I started losing those friends. And more than two years ago, Saul Nunez lost his freedom. When I first got here, I felt so terrible that I just ate. At 19, Nunez was accused of using a cane to hit a 91-year-old man over the head. I believed I was fighting a, a spiritual war, catching souls of demon spirits. He was diagnosed with schizophrenia at Bellevue and then sent to Rikers. Mr. Jorans. The victim, Juan Lawrence, forgave Nunez when he met the young suspect's mom a month later. <laughs> Nunez hasn't been able to post $75,000 bail on a felony charge that could carry between 7 and 15 years in prison. Saul should be in a mental hospital. But there aren't enough beds to accommodate the large number of mentally ill who are either homeless or in the jail system. There's always been concern about the severely mentally ill who stop taking their meds. That was the case with ex-con Alexander Bonds, who fatally shot Detective Mia Soto's familia in 2017. Do you think you need to be in a mental hospital? No. Why? Because I've, uh, I've excelled at my therapy. I am medication compliant. A couple of years before he was diagnosed, Nunez once got in trouble for posting a threat on Facebook about his high school English teacher. I was saying that if they didn't fire him, God was going to send a Harrier missile and blow up the school. Now Nunez gets monthly injections of the schizophrenia drug in Vega. I hear voices, but they've reduced. They're not negative anymore. Yet the medicine comes with side effects. I grew like breast because uh, my prolactin levels went up. Dr. Elizabeth Ford of HHC talked about that in 2018. Psychiatric medications all have side effects. I know that my medication is something that I need. And he explains why he wanted to do this interview. I just wanted a voice. I feel like I was thrown in jail. After a long journey through criminal court, Nunez's case has moved to mental health court, and there's hope he can be released. Nunez's mom visits her son once or twice a week. She's here for me through my hardest moments. I see myself as a young man who has a long life to live, and now that my mind is clear, I feel like I can get a lot of things accomplished. I'm Mary Murphy, PIX11 News.